here's the storage this side's a little bit on the smaller side it is a pass through but it's only about 12 inches wide in there but you got a decent amount here you got this side of it and they got a whole bunch of rags to keep them clean but it's about two feet so storage wise this is definite improvement over most toy haulers that storage severely lacks make sure these are closed here at the more ride pin box and up front is generator that one's just like everything else in the world let's go take a look inside <laughs> yeah this is that new uh the new 410. Okay, so when you go in, there's those steps that will go. You got the sofa, let's walk this way. See how big the pantry is. So the pantry goes in uh, about hand length. But it is full, top to bottom. You got some up there. Glass is neat. Standard depth. So you got the nice, the nice fridge in here stove your entertainment center right next to the stove there's the wall going into the bedroom we'll get to that one let's go check out the garage here little countertop before you go into the garage got a 13 and a half foot garage you do have the second bath that's in the garage And it's just got a toilet and a little sink. You got a mirror and it's just attached to the wall. There's no room for the little medicine cabinet. You got your own window there. I don't see a vent for uh, airing it out when you blow it up. So you probably just got to open the window. Got the happy jack beds in here. Standard floor attachments. And you got the TV up there. Call my mock air conditioners. There's the control. Ooh, I like that though. Nice little touch putting the grand design name on the control. There's the ceiling. Interesting fixtures. Okay, so you got the chairs here with the couch. Let's see here, pull that all the way out. Okay, now I'm not a spring chicken, a little teeny guy here. So let's pop this table leaf. Let's just see here. That's not a whole lot of room. Let's see how this, oh, yep. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I can't sit on that side. Let's try this side though. Okay. They can sit here. You got one side made for big people. This one's made for 10 year olds. There's the fireplace, the TV, that wall coming in. There's your sofa. Let's go up to the bathroom. That's between the living and the bedroom. You got the shower on this side. Then you have 
your sink on this side. And in here, that looks like a closet, would be your main toilet. You know what, we gotta test this. We gotta, we gotta see here. I don't know if you can, let's put it this way here. Well, hopefully you're not claustrophobic. It is a little tight, kind of cozy, but it's a little tight. Okay, it does have a fan in here. So if you want to blow it up, you can just hit the button on the side, air it out. On this side, you got your rack that goes way down in there. Looks like they got a king or a queen bed in here right now. So you do have a decent amount of walking around room between here and the main dresser. You got a little side dresser with drawers in it. lot of room over here in the closet though. If the closet goes back in there. Got the, the nice size drawers. Got outlets on each side with 12 volts. You can plug in your, your phone. Headboard goes back in there quite a ways though. See so you got the middle of the closet where it can either be shelves, or if you can see way back in there, is the hookups for a washer dryer. Close that 